Hi. I thought I'd uh, try an, another vlog this week. Um, I hope you checked in last week and saw the beautiful video and videos and photos of our camping trip. Ah, oh, that was just amazing. It was so great to get out. Um, and the weather was just perfect. And we caught the last of the fall color down there. Um, it was just really nice. So I didn't, uh, I didn't say much about my health last week, um, cause that was mostly just a, a camping vlog, a travel vlog about our trip. Um, we were only gone two days, by the way. It was, it was just a short trip. Um, luckily that trip coincided with a short run of really good days for me. Since about mid August, I've been going through this mysterious relapse no idea what well i kind of know what triggered it but i i don't know why it, it just keeps continuing so a couple of weeks ago i made several medication changes um my obgyn put me on estrogen patches um back in august what started this whole thing was stopping birth control pills after decades on them um so the estrogen patches helped somewhat. They got rid of the headaches, which was great. They improved my energy, but I still had the flu-like aches. And finally, a couple weeks ago, it occurred to me that, um, that some of the supplements that usually help my immune system might be stimulating my immune system too much right now, given that I've had flu-like aches for months. Um, so I took a break from inosine. Um, it works great for me and for my son, but you are supposed to constantly vary the dose, which I do, and also take a break every few months, which I hadn't done in a while. So I'm on my break from inosine. Um, I also stopped taking an immune, um, supplement. It's one of those supplements with a whole bunch of different things in it. My Lyme specialist had recommended it to me, but she doesn't really understand ME-CFS that well. And it occurred to me that one might be actually boosting my immune system, stimulating it, which I definitely don't need right now. So I stopped that too. And like a miracle, <laughs> we went on our camping trip and I had five good days. Um, we were only camping for two of those, so some of that was back home. No aches at all, able to be active. Um, if you saw the outdoor vlog, you'll, you saw that I was able to go kayaking. Um, there was quite a bit of walking that weekend just because um, we didn't have a site really close to the bathroom. And I know for normal people that sounds crazy, but just walking back and forth to the bathroom as often as I need to <laughs> is a lot of exertion for me, but it was fine because I was feeling pretty much back to my normal baseline. Um, unfortunately, that didn't last. This last weekend was just awful. The ache set in again. Um, so yesterday I talked to my Lyme specialist, just a, a routine checkup with her. And I talked to my ME-CFS specialist. She had run some labs. Nothing new really showed up, just the usual. As always, my Epstein-Barr virus and HHV6, two herpes family viruses that tend to hang around and reactivate in us, um, were high, but they always are. Other than that, nothing else really showed up. Um, I almost felt bad for her because I, I kept asking her these questions that she's an expert and she's involved with research. She sees thousands and thousands of patients with ME-CFS, but of course there are questions that none of us can answer. <laughs> and I kept asking her some of those questions and she was like, I'm really sorry. I don't know. Um, but what we did decide to try again is a short uh is a short round of prednisone a steroid 
So steroids long-term are not a good idea for people with ME-CFS. They suppress the whole immune system and parts of our immune system are already um, underactive. So we don't, it's not a good idea to stay on it. But back in April, when I was having trouble recovering from COVID and it had made my ME-CFS worse, um, and once again, one of my primary symptoms was flu-like aches. A five-day course of prednisone got me back to normal, my normal. So um, I tried that again in September when this relapse was at its worst, um, and it didn't seem to do anything then, but I was like pretty much bedridden at that point. I was really, really severe. And um, I'm guessing it wasn't long enough or strong enough to really do much. Now I feel like I'm kind of back. Energy's good. Um, I'm sleeping a lot, but um, it's mostly the flu-like aches, which is where I was in April when the prednisone helped. So who knows, but I'm trying it again. Today's my first day. Um, it does raise my heart rate insanely, um, massive tachycardia, but um, I'm already on beta blockers that I take every night, long acting beta blockers, which work wonderfully for me. But when I take the prednisone, I need a little extra beta blocker. So my husband's picking that up from the pharmacy for me right now. Unfortunately, he also had to, um, he's driving my beloved little Volkswagen convertible. Um, today is the final day to renew my registration and get it inspected. And I actually tried doing it on Friday just to find, I, it's a 40 minute drive from here. And I got down to the DMV and found out that they were closed because it was Veterans Day. <laughs> and then had to drive all the way back here. And by then I was really achy. So today he's taking the car for me. Today's the last day to get it done. Um, so he's driving my little car. Um, he's gonna get it re-registered for me and pick up my prescriptions. So I'm very grateful to my husband um, for all the help he provides. And I'm here on the couch, reclined, um, gonna try to do some things that I can do just from the couch and recliner, um, place an order at Target for delivery and um, handles ordering some supplements and paying some bills and things like that. So that's my day. So it's Tuesday, um, second day on prednisone. Um, and the way steroids work is you go down on your dose each day. Um, so I plan to take it for five days. So I started with five pills, today was four pills. And um, I was feeling pretty good in the evening last night after dinner. And then, uh, and then I slept for 10 and a half hours last night and I didn't get out of bed until 9.30, which is really late for me. Um, I don't know. So you would think that I would have felt really great, but um, by 10.30, the aches were setting in again. Um, I did have to come out, as you can see. Car looks a little different with the top on in the winter. Um, it is a cold, blustery day. <laughs> But it's not raining, so I'm happy about that. Um, I needed lab work. Um, I talked to my MECFS specialist on Monday and um, she sent a lab slip, so I got that done. I think I said it's Tuesday, but it's actually Wednesday. <laughs> that just shows you about the level of my mental functioning right now. Um, I also had to stop uh, at our doctor's office, which is right in the same um, office complex as the lab and pick up some paperwork to try to keep our son on our insurance. So this, we've had this big to do since my husband retired, since my husband retired in September, um, trying to get our new insurance established and set up. I finally got mine, which is why I had all these doctor's appointments this week. And um, we need to send an application and to keep our son on our insurance since he's over 26. So anyway, 
I ended up waiting here at the doctor's office for 30 minutes because they couldn't find the forms that I dropped off last week. Um, thankfully, our doctor actually came out of her office and got involved and she, she found the forms and quickly typed up a letter and so um, we should be in pretty good shape now. Now I am headed back to the couch. So you can see I'm in my setup for um, recording videos about books. I just recorded two short ones um, that will get me through the, uh, the Thanksgiving week. So I'm feeling well enough to be sitting up here today. Um, I even got dressed in something other than a sweatshirt and put a little makeup on. The last few days have been pretty stable for me. Still some aches in the mornings. Uh, yesterday, again, I felt a little better around dinner time and in the evening. Um, that might just be, you know, steroids are very stimulating. That might just be from that. Um, I don't know yet if they're working or not. Uh, usually I kind of have to wait. I looked back at my notes from when I when they helped me in April and I took them for five days like I'm doing now. And I still had some achy days like spread out in the next week, one or two, but then it, the aches cleared up. So I am hoping for the same. This time, um, I did not have the luxury of sleeping in this morning because I had another phone appointment with another doctor. That's three for this week. Um, this was my OBGYN who's retiring at the end of the year. <sighs> I hate to lose her. One of the things we talked about is what other doctors I could go see. She knows how complex my case is, that sometimes what I'm dealing with, with my gynecologist has effects with my chronic illness. So, you know, she's, I so appreciate, she's really given some thought to what other doctors in our area have the time to spend with me, would be open-minded, have plenty of experience, that kind of thing. The problem is the day after I found out she was retiring, there was a huge article in our newspaper, front page article about the shortage of OBGYNs in our area. And she was telling me on the phone today, she and her partner who are both retiring at the end of the year from their practice, they counted up like how many OBGYNs in our area they personally know that have left in the last decade and not been replaced. And she said they counted 12. So things are kind of difficult, but she did give me two more names to try. The first one I tried said she wasn't taking new patients. Little worried because I'm in the middle of this big switch um, with hormone replacement therapy, but she did give me some good advice today. We talked through all of my questions. Very, very sorry to be losing her, but um, that was helpful today. So time for me to have some lunch and a nap, and um, I'll check in with you later this week. Somehow it's Friday already. I don't know how that happened. This week kind of went by really fast. I feel like I haven't done anything but I've, I've done some very important things like getting um, my son's health insurance application together, which pretty much took all week. Um, I am out and about, as you can see, so I'm doing okay. I, I slept really late again this morning. I didn't get up till 9.30, but there was a reason this time. I woke up about 4.30 to go to the bathroom and couldn't get back to sleep. And um, it's just my head spinning, a um, little bit of anxiety over Thanksgiving next week. Not the travel, we'll be, we'll be driving and I handle that okay, but um, being with certain family members, uh, you know, things like that, um, worrying about exposure with COVID, of course, um, you know, just middle of the night, I get, I get the brain spins. Um, I, I've written about this on my blog before. Sometimes I think I, I, I get into this obsessive way of thinking. I guess it's part of chronic illness. I don't know. But, um, 
where, you know, I just start going down these anxiety rabbit holes. But um, I did finally get back to sleep. There was one thing I was worried about that I talked to my husband about this morning, so that helped. And, um, you know, I'm feeling okay. I, I, obviously, I'm out and about. So I came out to get more lab work done. This is, if you're keeping track, that's the second time to the lab this week. And I've had three uh, phone appointments with my doctors, but all of that's really good. Trying to get some things figured out. Um, also made a quick stop at our natural food store, got some gluten-free gravy mix so that my son can enjoy his favorite food on Thanksgiving day, which is mashed potatoes and gravy. And, um, and picked up a few other things there. Um, very happy that they had decorative gourds because I like to decorate with those this time of year and I hadn't been able to find them anywhere else. And um, just made a quick stop at the library and now I need to, one more quick stop at the drugstore to pick up a prescription and then back home. My husband took the more exerting errands today. He's at the post office, which sometimes involves standing in line um, to mail our son's app healthcare, health insurance application. And he was gonna make a quick stop at the grocery store too, so. Almost done, just the drugstore now and then back home. Just thought I'd show you the what I did with the gourds. We've got a little cornucopia we set up every year. A couple of decorative pumpkins to go along with it. And um, let's see, we've got Indian corn on the door. It wouldn't be a holiday without Snoopy, of course. As you can see, I like to decorate even for the lesser holidays. It kind of drives me crazy when people like go right from Halloween to Christmas because I like this season. And I think it adds a lot of fun to your life if you celebrate, you know, all the little things, not just the big holidays. Um, we've got a lot of, a lot of our decorations are things our kids made when they were little. Wouldn't be Thanksgiving without at least one handprint turkey. We've got a few of them. I write in my book about, um, about sm celebrating the small stuff and how that can add a lot of joy to your life and it's something you can do with very little effort. So decorating the house is part of that for me. And it's Monday morning already, and I um, I kind of forgot to record anything over the weekend, but that's actually a good sign um, because I was busy. I was feeling good most of the weekend, and um, I actually got a lot done and had some fun. I know, amazing. Um, as you can see, I am back in my old spot, my usual spot, sitting up in the recliner next to the window. I like being near the window um, instead of lying down on the couch. So this is the first time in three months that I've been able to, to be in the recliner instead of lying down on the couch, um, you know, for more than a few minutes. So that is a very good sign um, also this weekend on Saturday, my husband and I actually went for a short hike, um, just like 25 minutes, I think, slow pace, mostly flat, but, um, it was so good to be out there again. Uh, we just went to our local nature center, but it's been so long since I've been able to do that. It was a real treat. I finished my round of prednisone. It was only five days worth. I think because I was already on my way back, kind of, it did the trick. Um, I think if I'm too severe, it doesn't seem to do much. But, um, you know, when I'm just trying to get rid of those last aches, it seems to be pretty effective for me. Only five days and only once in a while. It's not a good thing for us with ME-CFS to stay on long term. Um, but it, I think it did the, what it was supposed to do. 
Um, I even got some stuff done around the house this weekend. Some long overdue decluttering that I've been meaning to do. Um, just felt good to be doing something. And um, Saturday evening, um, we checked in with some friends. They wanted us to, to go out, but I said, still not really going out to restaurants, at least not when it's crowded. My husband and I have done like outdoor dining on, you know, on a weekday, but, um, and outdoor dining's out of the question now. <laughs> it looks nice out there, but it's, it's really cold. And, um, so, you know, but these are really good friends, wonderful, kind, caring friends, and they were fine with getting takeout. Um, we got takeout from our favorite New Orleans place. We all used to live in New Orleans together. Um, and this place is run by a husband and wife who both were chefs in New Orleans under some of our favorite New Orleans chefs. So, um, favorite, favorite food and favorite friends and had a nice relaxing Saturday evening. So, I mean, all in all, it was a great weekend. I feel like I'm coming back to life and just in time because Wednesday morning we head up to Rochester, New York, my hometown for Thanksgiving. Um, it's like a seven hour drive each way and there's snow there. <laughs> and of course, you know, there's, it's always exhausting for me. We stay with my stepmom, which is wonderful and she's She's a great host and very kind. Um, but you know, being away from home is always difficult. I try to stick to my usual routines, but um, you know, it's still tiring. It's very tiring to me to, to talk to people, just to sit and talk, which after 20 years, certain people in my family still don't understand. <laughs> um, so it will be, you know, it'll be an exhausting long weekend under the best of circumstances. So I'm glad I'm feeling better. If I were still the way I was a month ago, three weeks ago, I just couldn't have done it. Um, I am trying very hard to limit my exposure, only small family gatherings, which still make me a little nervous, um, avoiding public places, crowds, you know, I may even wear my mask on Thanksgiving depending on how many people are there. I think it's supposed to be just a small group, my my um, my close family members. We'll see. So that makes me a little nervous, but at least I am feeling better. So that was my week. I hope if you're in the US, I hope you enjoy a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. Um, relaxing, I hope. And I'll leave you with just a few photos from our little hike on Saturday so that um, you can enjoy nature with me.